crazy. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about the market, what's going on, um, talk about what I'm doing um, during these uh, crazy times in the market, and then just kind of break down uh, what I think some of you guys should be involved in and how to stay um, afloat um, during this crazy market. So that's what I think we should cover in today's video. And also because a lot of people have been asking um, what to do when these things are, the market is this right. So that's what I wanted to cover into this video. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, just so you guys know, if we jump here, this is a uh, Finvis. You can look at um, the market is not as um, we would expect. I mean, it's even better now. When I'm, I was recording this video in the afternoon, um, in the morning, it was really bad. It, everything was kind of red. But we've seen now there's been some green, just about one, you know, one percent, two percent gain in uh, a lot of the, the key names here in the market. Um, but again, I, I know that for most people, uh, when the market is this red, people go quiet. A lot of people don't understand what to do. Um, they just sit and then wait. They only know how to, to trade the market when things are green. People don't know how to trade the market when things are red. So again, for me, uh, again, I am a consider both uh, an investor as well as a trader. So I've been, and I've talked about this on the channel. You you find yourself in either one of these categories or both. So if you are an investor, and then this is a good time for you because uh, this is time for you to go shopping. So you buy uh, the lows, buy all this dip that you're seeing in the market. If you are uh, a, a trader, and then again, there's opportunities because you can trade both ways of the market. You can go long or you can go short, um, depending on what kind of trader you are. And then if you are a combination of both, and then you be buying the dips in your long-term portfolio while trading uh, and making profit in your in your day trading account. So that is where I fall. I fall in, in, in the camp of people that are buying the dip for their long-term. And I've, I made videos here on the channel where I told you guys that I'm buying a lot of stocks. I'm buying Pinterest. I'm buying CCIV. Um, again, so I'm looking for opportunities in the dip and loading up. I'm buying uh, C3 AI and loading those. And then uh, as far as you know, trading, I'm looking for opportunities um, to either short the market or to go along with, with certain stocks. So, um, and I want you to develop that same mentality. If you are just an investor, then good. Uh, find, for the, find the dips, buy them, and just walk away and just let it ride. If you are a trader and you're looking to either swing trade or day trade, and then look for the right opportunities, look for the right sectors, because right now, the tech sector um, is taking a beating, but certain parts of the tech sector, not all tech sectors are taking a beating right now. So you have to look for the right opportunities and then go in and do some trades. So um, on that note, I'm going to jump uh, right back into uh, my account here so we can take a look and talk about some stocks that I traded today and why I trade the stocks and which sector I think is right now the hardest to trade. And uh, just to give you guys context, the hardest sector that I'm trading right now is uh, the non-fungible tokens. So that is NFTs. And I've done videos here on the channel explaining what NFTs are, um, how to trade them, uh, where to buy, how to create NFTs. You have all that information. Um, if not, I'll link the video up here so you guys can definitely go watch that and get a better understanding how to trade NFTs. Um, but if you if you don't quite understand again, like I said, if you if you're not into NFTs themselves, trading the actual NFTs, then you can trade stocks that are related to NFTs, and that's where I've been making a boatload of my money um, this whole week and last week. I've been trading strictly NFT stocks, and I, I've actually been posting videos about them, like my top four, my top five NFT. So the first one that I'm going to cover here, um, here uh, today that I traded was. Um, Ticket symbol YVR. So if you can see here, right out of the gate, this thing was it was just ripping. So if you can see a pre-market, you see the gray area on my my chart here. That's pre-market. So if I move back a little bit, so this is how it concluded the day yesterday at three dollars and some change, squeeze all the way up. After hours, it kept popping and then open up 
um, today pre-market um, squeezed to a high of about 5.9 and then just kind of pull back before the market opened. And when the market opened, it started at about $5 and just a little bit of change there. And look at that squeeze. This is like a day trader dream. Look at that squeeze, like nonstop. Started from $5, squeeze all the way to about $6.20, got halted. Came out of the, the halt, squeeze up again, got halted. Came out of that halt, squeeze up uh, to about $7, and then pull back. And I'm like, maybe this thing is done. It just reloaded and launched again all the way to about $7.50 uh, for a high. Man. So um, just to give you guys context, I got in at about um, I got in at about five dollars and and thirty three cents, rode it all the way to about seven dollars and uh, seventy one cents. That's where I got out. So I got at about seven dollars and, and sorry seven dollars and uh, eleven cents. So I got out at seven dollars eleven cents and took my profit. Um, again, if I had stayed in the trade just a little bit, it would have gone all the way to seven point five, but. I am not a greedy savage. You guys know that. So I got out of that one. So um, if you go here, and again, this are this is a, the, the list that I sent out this morning in our um, uh, Telegram group. You no, know, my watch list that I sent out. So on that list, we had TKAT, we have YVR, BNTC, uh, SMMP, and um, JFIN. Those are the five stocks that I was watching. So you can see just on um, YVR alone we made over $5,000 in that trade, which is insane, guys. I mean, like I said, this is our, that was way more than my daily goal, even more than my weekly goal. So, I mean, I could have just, I mean, I could just stop trading for the week and just come back next week and see how things go. Um, but, so that was the first one, which I really like. Then see, as soon as it hit the top here, I was out, then look at that pullback. And this is why I always insist that you should secure profit. And um, for those of you that when I keep talking about securing profit that don't quite understand how this works, if you go to put in an order, I'll just give you a quick example here. Let's say I want to create a new order, right? What I can do here is let's say I want to buy 100 shares and then I want to put uh, my bracket order here. So this thing is currently trading at about um, $5.33. So I'm just going to put it an order for... At let's say five dollars because I don't want to buy I don't want to buy anything right now so I just say five dollars um oops sorry I'll put an order for say five dollars and then I'll put my stop loss at four dollars and then I'll put my take profit at say seven dollars so at this point um what I'm looking at again here is that once I go into this trade I can move my stop loss and my take my take profit as I wish so if I say go now the order is in as you can see right here um i can move this order up and down to adjust it to my liking right likewise once i'm in the money let's say this this my order were to get fill right here and then this thing starts to gap up all i have to do is just click here hold and drag this and put it wherever i want to secure that profit at that point i'm above my entry price which is what i want I'm going to move this down because I don't want to get filled. So at that point, I'm just going to be moving this. If it keeps gapping up, I'll move my take profit a little bit up. And then I'll move my, I'll take my stop loss and just keep following until um, I, until to the point where it kicks me out. And if I feel like I want to take the maximum profit and then if it's gapping up, then I'll move my take profit down a little bit so that it hits the top, not the bottom. Because if I have my take profit, um, and my my stop loss together a close. If it if it pulls back, it will hit my stop loss. But if it goes up, it will hit my take profit. So I'll take the maximum profit if it hits my 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 take profit than if it hits my stop loss. But either way, you're securing that profit and you're in the money. And that's how uh, bracket orders do work. And in case where you've already crossed that and you are solid in the money, then you can cancel this uh, stop loss and take profit and quickly put in. Or what I call a trailing stop. And the, the, why you cancel the, the, the order, you have to have a hard key. Just in case things when it goes south, I have a hard key here on my keyboard. I'll just uh, press two keys. In my case, it's Alt X and you sell everything at market price and get me out. 
So that is another security measure that I use that you guys can actually deploy to. And then, so I'm gonna cancel this because I don't want this order to stay up there. Then the next one that I traded to, I was looking at, I was on the watch list was um, TK80. And this thing has just been insane, guys. And I've done videos on this. We can see this stack. If we can go back here, look at where this thing came from. From $4, $3, just how many days ago? And this thing is squeezed all the way to a high of 74 almost 75 dollars so got this morning open up um if this is right here at about 59 dollars squeeze all the way to 74 dollars before pulling back the rest of the afternoon and it, it, this is almost like what happened yesterday with the stock too look at that open up and squeeze up and then pull back and just squeeze and after hours it just went crazy and i traded this after hours yesterday um i got in here um and then just kind of got all the way to i think i traded all the way to like 60 that's when i got out and it kept going up um to about 63 but i was out at 60 because i am not a greedy savage guys um so again these are all nft stocks that i'm trading like i said this is the watch list that i sent out if you can see here everything on this watch list is nft so i'm just taking advantage of the sector that's popping people are talking about nfts uh, there's a lot of news about nfts out there um twitter um uh, jack dozy selling his first um tweet for 2.9 million dollars so there's news so i'm just um, trading that momentum from that news and then the next one is BNTC. As again, you can see, guys, it's on that watch list. Uh, we started here, pre market gapped really well, pulled back, market opened, the thing just collapsed. I'm like, oh, that was a bust. And guess what? Afternoon came and it, it just went crazy. Look at that. It just hit a high of 10. Guys, and I'm recording this video and I'm not trading this thing. You know, um, this, is, this is just not right. Um, look at that squeeze from $6 to $10.50. That's a spread of four dollars and fifty cents so mine i'm really pissed right now because i didn't i didn't trade this at all i should have been in this trade but i'm not a greedy savage and i don't want to be chasing um trades so i'm just gonna let it go uh, but see how these things squeeze so this has been an, an excellent one look at this again if you follow the viewer strategy the thing i see right here um underneath vwap i'm not touching it i'm just looking it crosses vwap here um try to show confirmation it failed it pulled back i'm not trading that crosses vwap again here first one minute candle to make a new high bam we like that confirmation next one minute candle set a new high i like that this is where i'll jump in this trade right here this third candle this bottom here at 6.5 if i were trading this this is where i would have gotten in at that 6.5 because this first candle here that crosses vwap that held second one set a new high third one i i get in and look at what would have happened this thing would have squeezed all the way up to look at that eight dollars and and 70 cents before pulling back so at this point you're in the money you can actually let it consolidate here a little bit and then rip but usually i'm not that patient i take my profit and run away because i know what the market does um, I'd rather take that profit and look for another opportunity to get back in. But this was another one on that list. So this would have been a great trade uh, to make some good profit. And then um, SN, uh, SNMP, that's the other one. And oh, look at, oh man, all these things are gapping. Because this one, market open, look at that. It just completely crumbled. So I'm like, okay, I thought you were going to do something. But nope. uh, and you just stay there. And again, look at look at this trade right here mine is just squeezing on the upside so i'm anticipating that after hours this thing is going to run uh, really good because look at the volume that's coming in there good volume i like that and then we have uh dlp and this is another one that i took a look at i didn't trade this one um but if you can see here after so this thing like after hours squeeze from five all the way to 11 and then has been up there market opens pull back and it's just been kind of uh, up and down, up and down, up and down. I didn't, I didn't get to trade this one, but this would have been one that if I, if I didn't make my daily goal in uh, y, YVR, I should have been like looking at some opportunities and this one to trade. But this would have been a really tricky one to trade because look, each time it sets a good high, it just flushes back and then consolidate, try again, give another attempt and flushes. Consolidate, give another attempt and flushes consolidate try to go again flushes right back look at it it's just 
man, this is a tough one to trade. This is the one where you just, you look at it, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. I'll live to die another day. Just walk away because I don't like it. So squeeze up here and flush it. So everything that you gain right here, it just completely flushes back. Unless if you catch it here, again, guys, like I said, use your stop loss. That's always the best way so you can secure those profits um, and not let them go. So those are the stocks that I traded, guys. And again, like I said, there's a tremendous amount of opportunity in the market. If you know what you're looking for, um, look for the sectors that are giving you opportunities and, and trade those sectors. Like right now, like I said, um, NFTs are where the money is at, and I'm taking advantage of it. The rest of the market is red. Um, NFTs are green. If you can see here, my top five here, one, two, three, four, five, are all green, uh, which is a great, um, great thing. Um, for the market. And then uh, Genius Brand came out today too. There was some bad news um, about the Genius Brand, but somehow the bad news converted into good news for the stock because the stock did make a good move to a new high, uh, set a high of uh, $2.98, which I mean, I don't understand why bad news should be good for a stock to move. It just doesn't make any sense, but that's what happened. So those are my trades for the day. Those are some of the stocks that I traded. That's this uh, NFT is a sector that I'm actually trading right now. Um, let me know again if you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I mean, it was a good day. Um, just from one stock that I traded right here, five thousand dollars in profit. Um, I can't complain. Again, like I said, that is way over my 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 weekly goal, so I can't really complain uh, from that trade. So I I love it. So let me know again in the comment section if you guys do like these uh, kind of videos where I do break down some of the trades that I did. I uh, will start to make these uh, videos again. I did them in the past, but it, it, it just felt like people were not watching the videos. I, I wasn't getting a ton of response from the video, so I stopped. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested and I'll, I'll start doing them again. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.